In this video, we'll look at how to migrate access points from the Zone Director Management Platform to the Ruckus One Network Management Platform. If you currently use Ruckus Zone Director to manage your access points, Ruckus recommends migrating from the end of life Zone Director to another Ruckus controller solution, such as our newest Ruckus One. This will ensure your Ruckus APs remain managed using the latest technology, plus, Ruckus One provides built-in AI-based analytics, reports, and data studio, as well as the flexibility to scale your network up or down when needed. Before you start AP migrations, there are a few system-level prerequisites that you'll need to address first. Most importantly, check that your access point models are supported by Ruckus One. If a model is not supported, then it cannot be migrated. Refer to the Ruckus Network's website for a list of supported APs. From the Zone Director perspective, Zone Director must be running minimum version 10.2.1.0.232 for model ZD3000, or minimum version 10.5.1.0.255 for model ZD1200. Zone Director APs must be connected and they must have the new Ruckus PKI signed certificate. They must also be configured to use IPv4 only or IPv4 and IPv6. And Ruckus strongly recommends having the IP address set to DHCP to ensure connectivity after AP reboot. And lastly, if Mesh is enabled on any Zone Director AP that's to be migrated, then make sure Mesh is enabled on the 5 GHz radio. As reflected here on the access point screen, we're not using Mesh APs for this demonstration. From the Ruckus One perspective, the only mandatory prerequisite is to ensure that your Ruckus One account has a Wi-Fi subscription that can accommodate the number of APs that you plan to migrate. With those prerequisites out of the way, here are the major steps in the task flow. One, create a Zone Director configuration backup file. Number two, Migrate the Zone Director configuration from Zone Director to Ruckus One. And three, migrate the APs from Zone Director to Ruckus One. The migration process will prompt you to create a new venue and will automatically assign the migrated APs to that venue. Radio settings from Zone Director are retained in the Zone Director backup file that's migrated to Ruckus One. However, the network configuration itself is not migrated. So, while not a prerequisite to migration, you will need to create a Wi-Fi network to activate in the new venue and assign the APs to. One other item of note, when an AP is being migrated, it will reboot a couple times to flash the new firmware and update its configuration, meaning end users will experience connection issues until the AP becomes operational again, which usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go to our Zone Director UI and create a configuration backup file. Navigate the menu, clicking Administer, then Backup. Click the Backup button. The .back file is downloaded to your local computer. Now let's migrate the Zone Director configuration to Ruckus One. In the Ruckus One UI, navigate the menu, hovering on Administration, then selecting ZD Migration. Click Migrate ZD Configuration and follow the wizard prompts. Drag and drop or browse to the Zone Director backup file that you created, then click Validate. Here in the Validation Results screen, you can see each AP's name, description if defined, serial number, and status, such as valid or invalid. Now, there are several reasons an AP could be invalid, including, but not limited to, the AP model not being supported, it's already registered in Ruckus One, or AP approval is actively pending in Zone Director. When all APs show a valid status, click Next. On the Migration screen, enter a new venue name, a description if desired, and the venue address. The country code will automatically be set to match the country code in the Zone Director backup file. Then click Migrate. The new venue is created in Ruckus One and the APs are added to the venue. 
Green pop-up messages in the lower right corner show each completed activity, such as the venue being added, the venue's radio settings being updated, and the APs being migrated. In this step, AP migration is equivalent to creating a new AP in Ruckus 1. The basic AP information is defined, but the APs have not yet joined Ruckus 1. The summary state and status fields on screen also show overall status. Click Done. The migrated ZD configurations table now includes an entry for the Zone Director backup file, showing the associated venue, status, and migration start and end times. And if the migration failed, you can click on the status hotlink to open the slide bar and view the error message. You can see the migrated APs on the Venues screen or in the Wi-Fi access points list. Note that they will reflect a status of Never Contacted Cloud because the APs themselves have not yet joined Ruckus 1. Let's take a quick look at the Details page for one of these APs. Clicking the More button in the AP Properties tile confirms that R1 knows only the location and the serial number of this AP. After the AP joins R1, we'll come back to see this page again. With configuration migration complete, the final step of the migration process is to make the Zone Director APs join Ruckus 1. In your Zone Director web interface, navigate to the Access Points page. Select the APs that you want to migrate to Ruckus 1 and click More. Then join another controller, or select the AP group and click Join Another Controller. An AP Disconnect Confirmation dialog box appears. Click Yes to proceed. Each selected AP reboots. Zone Director ignores the discovery requests of the AP and also blocks the AP from joining Zone Director. Note the AP status changes to blocked. Meanwhile, the AP discovers Ruckus 1, has its firmware upgraded, and reboots. The AP upgrades to the Venue version and becomes operational. Let's take another quick look at the AP that just became operational. Because onboarding was successful, we see that Ruckus 1 has populated all the AP properties. Going back to the full list of APs, we see that the other AP has also onboarded and become operational. After APs successfully join and are operational on Ruckus 1, you can delete them on Zone Director. As mentioned earlier in this demo, you'll still need to create and assign a Wi-Fi network to the venue containing your migrated APs. There are several Wi-Fi network related videos available in the Ruckus 1 video series. As we've shown, performing AP migrations to Ruckus 1 is relatively straightforward. But if you have a large network, older access points, or a network that may benefit from a redesign, then we invite you to contact your local VAR, Ruckus Systems Engineers, or Ruckus Professional Services for assistance. That brings us to the end of this video on migrating access points from the Zone Director Management Platform to the Ruckus One Network Management Platform.